Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing something a little bit different on the channel just because I have a lot going on right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen what's going on in my life. My mom is visiting and I haven't seen her in four years. And Zoe. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so she's in town. And on a much sadder note, my stepfather-in-law passed away this last week. So there's just been a lot going on. I posted about it on Instagram and a lot of you sent really, really loving messages. I appreciate you guys so much. It's been a really, really hard time. I'm gonna stop talking about it, otherwise I will start crying. But I just wanna thank you all for your kindness and your love and your support. I know I haven't been active on the channel, but I didn't wanna go completely radio silence on you guys and then all of a sudden have Halloween start up because there's going to be a lot coming your way for Halloween. So I still wanna trickle some videos here and there, but this month I can't promise a regular uploading schedule. I'm going to do my best to upload a few videos, but again, probably not every week. And if you're curious about this makeup look, I did film it, so that will be coming very soon. So today I figured I would do something different and a little bit more simple than a makeup look because I feel like smaller videos like this are something I can tackle right now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is a makeup tour. I'm gonna be showing you my collection and my whole filming space. And today I'm really, really happy to say that this video is actually in partnership with Shadow Racks, which is a brand that I've followed their work for quite a while now. They are a startup company started by a couple, Joe and Michelle, and they do everything themselves and what they make are literally shadow racks. They are wall mountable racks for your makeup. They started the company by 3D printing these racks, but now they've got a Kickstarter so that they can move on to injection molding because 3D printing one of these takes up to eight hours for them, so they just can't keep up with the demand. And that means they'll be able to mass produce it instead of 3D printing one at a time. The ones I got are 3D printed, so they're not 100% clear. The new ones are going to be clear, very much like acrylic. You can see the previews on their Kickstarter page and they look so pretty. They also have some like holographic options. It's just, uh, I want, I want to cover my wall in those. <laughs> and I'm always amazed by innovations within the makeup industry and they create a product that is truly unique. There's nothing like it on the market right now. And that makes me really, really happy whenever someone creates something that's actually new and that isn't just a copy of something else. So their brand is one that I truly, truly support. And the whole thought process and motto behind their company is that vanity spaces should be a sanctuary. It's a space where you should be able to relax and really express yourself creatively and part of that is for your surroundings to look really nice. And today I'm gonna to be showing you my surroundings where I create and I'm gonna be mounting some of these bad boys to help me organize my makeup collection. So if I zoom all the way out like this, you can see my little microphone down here. You can see the shelves behind me and a little bit of my wall. I'm literally in a corner of my room and I'll show you how I organize things to maximize the space that I have. So this is my makeup space. It's in a little corner of my room. And you walk in and you see the desk. And usually my camera is in the middle of the ring light. Up above the ring light, I have a custom neon sign that my husband gave me that says, I love. We say that to each other all the time. We never say, I love you. We just say, I love. So that's what that is. And then there is my lipstick wall, which is where I'm going to be hanging my shadow racks. And back here, we've got two Ikea bookshelves packed to the brim with stuff. This shiny piece of fabric on this frame is just here temporarily for Halloween. I still haven't finished filming all my videos yet, so that's still up, but that'll be gone as soon as I finish them. My regular background is attached to the ceiling right up here. It is a regular paper photography background that I can just roll down and then it goes like that right behind me. And I can roll it back up whenever I need to reach for anything on the shelves. So my lighting setup is quite simple. I have one ring light and then I have one light here behind me to create some separation between me and the background. And then here at my desk is where I would say 95% of my makeup collection is maybe. It is all within the drawers here and here. 
So my desk is quite messy, hello, but it looks a little something like this. I have, as I said, my camera here. My microphone is usually right here on the stand, but right now it is on top of my camera right there. I put my laptop up here and I use that as my monitor when I'm filming. I hook up my camera to my laptop. I have these little drawers before I just used to have a box there to prop up my laptop, but I figured if I'm gonna have something there, I might as well make it be storage. It's not completely filled yet, but it does have a few things. I keep bobby pins in this drawer. I keep little brushes from Lit Cosmetics in this one. I sometimes put my external hard drive in this one and then I've got SD cards here and there's actually nothing in this bottom one. Then here we've got some very dirty old rags that I use to clean my brushes. I always like to keep them here so that I don't have to use paper. I do have a roll of paper as you can see, but I avoid using it when I can. I want to reduce the amount of waste that I produce. Here I've got all my NYX jumbo pencils in this little thing. Please ignore the mess here on the side. Oh yeah, and all this stuff. So I do have things over to the left of my desk, which I purposely didn't show you at first. This is mostly stuff that I'm going to be donating, but right now it's all shoved into this corner because I really have no other space to put it. Then here I've got my little mirror and it is also propped up by some drawers. And in this top drawer, I kind of have my little essentials. I have some lip balms that I like to use. I have eye drops and pencil sharpeners. And then I don't really have anything on the bottom two just yet. Now for my brushes, it is a whole lot of brushes and sponges. To organize my brushes, I use an Ikea plant holder. I saw this idea online somewhere, I don't even remember where, but I like to organize my brushes by type. I know that I have a lot of them, but it is absolutely necessary for the type of work that I do. Here I've got my flat and tiny brushes. Here I've got my small fluffy brushes. These are dirty, and then these are dense big brushes. These are fluffier big brushes, and then some other types that I don't use that often. And then here I've got dirty ones as well. Here are my sponges. This is my translucent powder. And then this on the side is things that I want to hang up on the wall, but I haven't gotten the chance yet. So there's a few notes, pictures, posters, things like that. And now for the wall. So this wall is, I would say, the most impressive part of my little corner. It's definitely the focal point of my corner. I try to keep it really nice and pretty. And as you can see, I already have some hanging racks on the wall, but those aren't made specifically for makeup. These are nail polish racks that I have repurposed and put lipstick on them. So this is my lipstick collection. My lip glosses aren't here. I will show you that in a second. I kind of double layer them because I do have a lot of lipsticks. So they're in two rows. And sometimes when I'm trying to get something out, I'll knock a bunch of them over and then have to pick them up. With the shadow racks, you don't have that issue. You just pop them in there and then pop them out and it's super easy. So I'm really excited to get this up on my wall. And now for the bookshelves. So I put in these bookshelves to create a division between my bedroom and my corner. It acts like a wall, but it also acts like storage, which I sorely need. So up on that shelf, I've got books and little toys and things, and my trophy from the Face Awards is right there. Up here, I've got fake lashes. These three boxes here have fake lashes. This one is just some random stuff. This is some other random stuff here. These three drawers are all sheet masks. This whole box is sheet masks as well. And then here I've got makeup sponges, and then this one I do didn't label. I don't quite remember what's in there. I should probably label these things. This shelf here in the middle is all my wigs. Actually, that's not true. I've got some wigs up here as well. Down here is my hair shelf. This is all hair products, styling tools, etc. And then I repurposed this PR box from Milani and I put bobby pins, hair ties, clips, things like that here. And it's all nice and organized. Then below it, I've got my photography equipment here. And then I also have perfumes right there. I didn't really know where to stick perfumes and it fit right there so I just left them there. Then the bottom shelf is just kind of a bit of a mess. I've got a box with new PR stuff that I need to try down there. I've got some pencils here, some 
concealer, some lipstick, some palettes. I've got some body makeup here, so it's just a bit of a mess. That part I haven't quite nailed down yet, so please excuse me. And also more stuff here on the floor. Just please ignore the mess. And as you can see, my light has a very sophisticated propping up system. It is two cardboard boxes. I just needed it to be higher up from the ground, so I just stack some boxes. As I said, I've got my books and stuff in here. Here I have some wigs. I've got Tatcha products in here and I've got milk makeup products in there. Yes, I know those are big boxes, but I do have a lot of stuff from them and I love them so much that I thought they deserve their own boxes. There I've got some more magazines and books. Now down here, I've got this little collection of lip balms. I've got a custom made doll back there that I still need to hang up. And then in here, I've got duplicates of things that I want to keep and things that are really nice that I want to gift to friends and family. Then in these little drawers, I used to have eyelashes in them, but I recently took them out and put them in the boxes up here. So I think they're empty right now. And then all the way in the corner, it's a little hard to see, but I've got some clear drawers here as well. I just have a variety of like glitters and stones in there. And then that blue box is all glitters. And it currently looks like this. I need to get a bigger box real soon. It's got all my lit stuff, all my strobe, just every glitter I own is in here. This shelf is kind of interesting. I have some prosthetic making things here. I've got some silicone back there. I've got sculpting tools in here and things like that. That side, I don't really touch it that much. In here, I've got travel size skincare. And then below it, I've got my travel sized hair care things. So I put all my minis in here. I definitely need to get a new box pretty soon. But whenever I have to travel, it's easy because I can just come into these boxes and grab what I need and then I'm good to go on my trip. A lot of the boxes I have, like these ones and this one, come from Ikea, but I also really like to repurpose PR packages. So these boxes here are PR packages. I've got this one, I've got this one, I've got these ones. So I try to reuse things whenever I can. These are currently getting a little too small though, so I might have to get something to substitute them. But for now, they work. I have my liquid eyeshadows in here, my cream eyeshadows, and then I have loose pigments in here. And then in this box, I have my bigger liquid glitters and body makeup and stuff like that. Then in the shelf below it, I have all my liquids. I've got all my setting sprays. I've got makeup wipes. I've got makeup remover. I've got brush cleaner. I've got all that kind of stuff here. I also have these pigments right here. I don't know why they just don't fit in that box. So I have them there for now. And then below it, I created an extra shelf that doesn't exist on this side, but it's my little face painting shelf. So I have all my face paints on here. And then that last shelf, I kind of forget that it exists. It's my messy shelf. I mean like really messy shelf. Basically these bottom two, they just, uh, I don't know. I put all the stuff where I don't really know where to put it just yet. So that's that. But now it's time for the fun stuff. Now we get to dig in to my drawers which are quite dirty from my makeup stained hands. Oh, and down here I've got a trash can and a recycling can, and then a bag full of used makeup components that I want to recycle, but you can't just chuck them into regular recycling. It has to go to a special plant. So I'm gonna start off with the right side and I organize both sides kind of similarly. The first drawer is all dedicated to eyes. But here on the right side, we've got the more normal natural colors. Like I've got all my black and brown mascaras. I've got my black, brown, and white eye pencils and skin tone pencils too. I've got all my black and brown liquid liners over here. They've kind of fallen over to this side, but they should all be in there. And then in these areas is where it gets a little more unnatural. I've got all my Ritual Defeat eye soots in here. I've got some pressed eyeshadows from Sugar Pill. What is that doing there? <gasps> I've been looking for this highlighter. I didn't know it was there. Anyway, 
I've been looking for this. I've got my Danessa Myricks mixing medium. I've got my eyeshadow base. I've got all my milk makeup stamps in here as well. And then here, it's all my Suva Beauty Hydro Liners. I've got my ColourPop Jelly Much shadows in here and a few other bits and bobs that don't really fit anywhere else. Like my eyeshadow tree is from Kaja. And then the second drawer, it is concealers and face powders. I've got my loose powders and pressed powders kind of scattered. I've got my color correctors here in the back, but I also have these Makeup Forever powders here because they didn't really fit anywhere else. I've got the concealers that I use most often on this side and then buried under these powders are some more concealers that I don't really use. They're not the right color for me or I just don't really like them all that much. And then here I've got my Milk Makeup Powder, which is what I use most often. And this ColourPop Press Shadow, I use it to set my eye base. In the third drawer, I've got all my foundations. I like to keep the ones that I use the most kind of closer to the front. I use mostly my Milk Makeup Foundation, my Makeup Forever, and my Smashbox, which I think is actually in a travel bag but I have one here. I have a few different colors in here. I keep some samples here, which I always forget to try. Oh, and I also have primers in here as well. So primers are kind of along the backside and foundations are on this side. I'd say I use maybe like 10% of what's in this drawer. I should really clear it out sometime. Ooh, this drawer I actually totally forgot to organize before filming, but this is basically my cream colors. It's my cream blushes and cream highlighters. There was recently something else that I kept in here that I don't remember, and I cleared that out and I just kept my creams in here, but it's a mess. As you can see, these dividers that I have in here don't work. They're really flimsy. They used to be divided up properly into different categories, like different types of blushes and highlighters and things like that, but now it's just a big old mess. I really have to organize this area, but I've got all my Ritual Defeat products in here. I've got all my milk makeup sticks, which I use almost every day or at least whenever I put on makeup. And then towards the back is stuff that I don't use that often. So again, I try to keep what I use the most here by the front. And then last but not least, I've got my palettes and this is only one part of my palettes. I used to have all my palettes in here and this was a mess. Like you couldn't see anything. They were all just like stacked on top of each other. It was really, really bad. But before I filmed this video, I decided to reorganize my palettes. So I put half of them on the left side and this is what I was left with. These are basically my rectangular palettes and then my really small Smashbox ones. On the other side, I've got my square palettes and really big ones that don't really fit anywhere. Now it's time for the drawers on the left side and first up again we've got eye products but this time it's the unnatural colors. It's the bright colors. I've got these potted liners from NYX over here. I've got all my colored pencils in here and some gel liners as well. I've got all my colored mascara in here and colored liquid liners. And then over here, I've got brow products, which are obviously naturally colored, but they didn't fit in the other drawer. Now that I think about it, I should probably switch this out with the Suva Beauty Hydro Liners and get those in here and put this over there. But anyway, I also have NYX glitters and pigments in here and the NYX primal colors. I've got some Milani liners, which I haven't opened up yet, but basically this little side is all NYX stuff. I've got my eye primers here as well and my glitter primer. So the reason there's so much NYX in here is that before this left set of drawers used to be all NYX. And then recently I took out a lot of the stuff that I don't use anymore and moved things from other brands into these drawers and decided to make it by color and by type of thing. Thing rather than by brand. Next up is lip products. Now these are not lipsticks. My lipsticks are up on my wall. Although there are some in here, like my Ritual Defi ones, which are just like little teeny tiny babies. But in here, it's basically lip glosses and lip balms and it is a mess as you can see it's overflowing i really need to reorganize this that's why i'm excited to get the shadow racks on the wall because hopefully then i can clear up some space with this and then transfer some of these glosses onto the other racks on my wall but i try to keep the lip balms back here and lip scrubs as well and then i just have a whole kind of mess of glosses. I don't use glosses that often. That's why this drawer is the way it is, but I do want to organize this a little bit better. Next up is a drawer that is running 
quickly out of space. And this is my powder color drawer. So in the same way that I have the cream colors on that side here, I've got my powder, highlighters, blushes, contours, and bronzers. And you can see things are very tight in here. I have to stack a lot of things on top of each other for it to fit. So soon I know that I'm going to have to rearrange some things, maybe transfer some out into a new drawer, which I think I can actually do. I just freed the bottom drawer today. Then as I mentioned, I've got my other eyeshadow palettes here. This was also a bit of a mess and I organized it before filming this video. I wanted to have things a little bit more presentable to you guys. So I've got my palettes that don't fit upright. They have to be laid flat because they're too big to fit in these drawers. And my Blackman cosmetics oddly shaped ones. They're half moon so they don't really fit anywhere so I just like to lay them flat. Then I've got all my square palettes over here. I've got all my sugar pill back here and my smaller rectangular palettes here. And luckily I still have some space that I know will be filled up soon with more palettes. That's just the way it goes. I know that I have a lot of makeup, but that's just the reality of things. I might transfer some of my face stuff down here if I feel that it's necessary. Oh, hi, I've got Wonder Woman on my socks. And then the last drawer, yes, I am opening it up with my foot. There isn't really anything in here. I just cleared this drawer out today. It had a whole mess of crap in there, just random things that I put in a box on my shelf. And now I just have some NYX lip products. These are all my NYX lip pencils. And then these are like lip crayons and things like that, but I don't ever use them. So I think I'm gonna get rid of them and I'll be able to put some face stuff down here. Maybe I'll move my bronzers and contour down here and keep blush and highlighter in the top one. I don't know, I still have to figure that out. Now I'm gonna give you a super quick tour of my lipstick wall. This is a PR package that I didn't throw away. I thought that the acrylic was way too nice and way too pretty to get rid of, so I just mounted it on some hooks. But for the lipsticks to stay in here, I put in a little bit of this tacky stuff, which you use to hang up posters on the wall and stuff like that. So I just have that on the bottom just to make sure that they stay. Then back here, I first installed this shelf which is one whole piece. It's got these six little shelves on it and it is an acrylic nail polish holder. I stole this idea off of Amy from Sugar Pill and apparently she stole that idea from Autumn, also from Sugar Pill. So shout out to Amy and Autumn. I love you guys. I'm totally stealing your organization ideas. But basically in this one, I can only fit my bullet lipsticks. All my liquid lipsticks are too tall to fit into this one. I can only fit them up there at the top. And then this set over here, they are separate shelves. I had to hang up each one. And when I say I, I mean my husband, Adam. He's actually the one who hung them up for me. I love you, baby. But these, I spaced them out so that I could fit all my liquid lipsticks. And I did this before I found out about shadow racks. So it makes me kind of sad that I don't have a full wall of shadow racks, but it is what it is. And I'm gonna have some on my wall starting today, which makes me really, really happy. So now I'm going to hang up my shadow rack so that we can reorganize some things. And I was sent their most popular size, which is the 40, and this is the one that they are kickstarting. The different shadow rack sizes are made to fit specific components, like the size 40 is meant to fit components that are 40 millimeters wide, like the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. You just pop them in and that's it. I also got sent a 40 mini, which is just a smaller version of this. So you can build them up on your wall depending on the size of your makeup collection. You have options. You don't have to go for a big one like this if you don't have a lot of shadows to put in it. And I also got sent this lipstick component, which I'm really excited about. My new melt lipsticks are gonna fit in here. This is for the skinnier type of liquid lipstick. So I'm super excited about this. And the part that I think is most practical, unlike the shelves that I have behind me that I had to put up each one separately, these hook together. So you just have to put in the first one and then you can just attach them together like so and they just hang off of each other. It's super, super simple. So I want to have these somewhere that I can easily reach that while I'm doing my makeup, I can just reach out and grab whatever I need. So I think I'm gonna put it in this blank space right here. I thought about putting it up there where the RuPaul poster is and moving the poster, but here it makes more sense because it's very easy for me to reach out and grab instead of having to stand up to grab it up there. So the way I'm gonna put this up on the wall is the easiest way. I'm gonna use little push pins. You can use nails or screws or those double-sided mounting tapes. I'm gonna use push pins because they're clear and so they kind of just look like they're part of 
the system. So let me get you here real close. I'm going to hang this one up first, I think. I'm gonna start by centering it here within this lipstick mount that I have. I'm putting the center push pin in. Then I'm using a level to see, well, if it's level. And if it is, then I'm putting the other two push pins. And what I find most fascinating about the Shadow Racks is that they are a completely bespoke modular system. So I can hang these up however I want. I can have my lipsticks here at the bottom, or if I decide that I don't want that, I can change things up and have my lipsticks go up first and then the other set of minis here on the bottom. So I grabbed all my shadows and things that I know will fit in here. So I'm just gonna start popping them in. I'm gonna start with my ColourPop shadows, my Super Shock, my Jelly Much, and you can either place them like this or like this to see the color. I'm gonna do it like this so that I can see exactly what color is where. Now, I don't have a lot of ColourPop shadows. I don't have a lot of things that fit in here. My glitters, unfortunately, don't fit in here. I would love it if my strobe glitters fit in here. I would just do a rack of glitters. But one thing that kind of fits is the Suva Beauty Hydro Liners. They're a little bit loose. They would probably fit a lot better in the smaller shadow rack. They do have a size smaller than this, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna pop them in like so. They don't fit as snug, but they are secure in there. If I move them, they won't pop out. So I'm just putting my Suva Beauty Hydro Liners and that will clear up a lot of space from here on the right side that you guys saw. I might move my eyebrow stuff over to the side. Then I've got my Kaja Beauty Bento Trios. And I'm gonna put those here at the bottom because they're kind of different from everything else. And now I get to put my lipsticks here, which I am super excited about. The size fits the ColourPop lipsticks. It's the skinnier type of liquid lipstick and they stick out like that so that they're easy to grab. I wanna put my Melt lipsticks here first. I just got these two, which I'm wearing today actually. I'm gonna pop these in here and then I'm gonna pop the other ones. So I'm noticing now that this is kind of coming off the wall, so I'm going to stick another push pin right here in the center. So I'm going to take these lipsticks out, I'm just going to stick another push pin here. There we go. And another one here on the bottom as well. There we go. I think I also want to put my milk ones here, like so. And then I still have four spaces. I'm gonna put my ColourPop lipsticks that I use the most. Now I can just decorate around it. Now I've cleared up a big area on my rack. I can move some of my lip glosses on here, reorganize this. And I've also cleared up a big space here in my drawer. I just have this handful of stuff here, which I can move out and find somewhere else to put it. And my wall looks way cuter now too. Displaying your makeup like this is a really cool way to decorate your walls. Makeup itself looks really, really cool. Brands put a lot of thought into packaging, so why not display it? Now I just need to fill in this space and this space over here. I I still have a lot more stuff to hang on my walls like this. This came in a PR package, but I was like, this looks way too cool for me to just throw away. It's a really gorgeous picture. I really like it. And this wall isn't just a makeup wall. It is also an inspiration wall. And so I like to have pictures of people and things that inspire me. I want this wall to be beautiful. I want it to make me feel good about creating whenever I sit down here and look at it. And so being able to display my makeup definitely helps in that way. I have pictures of drag queens that inspire me. I have illustrations and pictures of me with my friends. So this is somewhere that I can sit down and feel inspired to create. I think that's really important when decorating your creative area. It has to be somewhere that makes you feel comfortable, that makes you feel inspired. And being able to display my makeup is definitely a big part of that. I think being able to see my products definitely helps. So that's it. That was a tour of my makeup collection and makeup area. Thanks again to Shatterax for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out their Kickstarter. I'm going to leave it linked down below. If you back their project, you'll be able to get the Shadow Rack at a very, very discounted price. And it'll be the new model that's done through injection molding. So it'll be completely clear, just like acrylic. It's going to look really, really pretty. So I'm really excited for those. I can't wait till they start actually 
producing them. And I know that sometimes sponsored content can be awkward, but I really wanted to do this video because I really like to support small businesses, indie companies, and artists whenever I can. I much prefer it to the big conglomerates. So I hope you guys don't mind me talking about this product. It's something that I truly believe in. It's something that I've been following for years now. I've been following their journey on Etsy and now on Kickstarter. And I really do hope that they grow in popularity because I'd love to see more models of racks. I'd love to fill this wall up with racks and just have my makeup all up on the wall. That would be amazing. So that's it for today. I hope you liked seeing my makeup collection. This was just my personal makeup collection. I also have a separate makeup collection of makeup that I use on clients when I'm working as a makeup artist. If you want to see that, I actually do have a video up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash pompberry where I give a tour of my professional makeup kit and the essentials that I carry in my kit and how to build your kit and so on and so forth. I've got a lot of cool stuff up on Patreon. You should check it out. Just saying. Especially if you want to become a makeup artist, I have a lot of valuable information on there on how to start a career, how to build a kit, and so on and so forth. So if you liked today's video, be sure to check that out too. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you understand my lack of videos lately. I appreciate your patience and thank you so much for tuning in. Also a big thank you to all my patrons who support me and I'll see you next time. Bye.